Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this video, I want to show you the new feature from Photoshop Sky Replacement versus Luminar for Sky Replacement. Which one is the best? Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. I'm very happy to be here. I'm in my new studio here in Florida. And for this first episode in this new studio, I want to show you the new sky replacement feature in Photoshop. That's amazing. And let's compare it to Lumina 4. One thing is both of these software have an issue. They cannot do reflection. So I'll show you a very, very three easy step workflow to do that in Photoshop. But that's coming at the end, at the very end of this video. So stay until the end. Let's get started. Here I am into Lightroom. This is a Vertorama that I've already retouched. I'm not crazy about the sky. So let's start to go to Photoshop and do the sky replacement. So I'm going to right click, edit Photoshop 2021. So here we are in Photoshop. I'm going to go to edit and the new option here, sky replacement. Okay, so here's a new interface. And for this proposition, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using my skies instead of the skies provided by Photoshop. Photoshop provides a whole bunch of sky. What I really love about the feature that Luminar doesn't have is that you can see the sky and you can see, you know, how they apply. Now, one thing you got to be very careful when you do sky replacement is you have to match the light. So you see the light on this one is coming from here. Uh, there is some lights coming here. I can see some highlights going around here. So we need something where there is some sun there, uh, some kind of light from this side. So I'm going to add one of my skies to this one. So you just go here plus, and I'm going to take one of my golden hour sky, maybe this one. Uh, by the way, I have 116 sky at an incredible price down below. You can even get some free ones. Just click show more under this video and check out the skies there. I can, I could try this one. So let's try this one, for example. And you just, you can give it a name here and press OK. And it's going to appear. I created like a folder called search where all the skies here. Oh, I kind of like this one. Maybe let's use this one. I kind of like it. And so you can just, you don't have to even close this window. You can go here. And so now the sky is selected. We can do a few things. Um, what we can do is we can flip the sky around, which I think would make more sense because the light direction is coming from here. Yeah, I think that's kind of cool. And then, um, so you can do a few adjustments. The brightness, so this is a sky adjustment. Brightness, so here it's going to make the sky very bright. Or here it's going to make it very dark. Maybe a little bit brighter. And here it's going to make the sky very warm. And here it's going to make the sky very dark, uh, very blue. So on this one, I want to make it maybe a little more warm. One thing which is cool is you have the scale option. If you go on the right, it's going to scale the sky. It's basically going to zoom in on the sky. Or if you go left, if you go too much, you, you will see the sky here, which is not good. And something like that is pretty cool. You got different lighting modes. Basically, just look at screen. Screen will always be brighter. Look at multiply. Uh, multiply is what I use the most. I think it's going to be good. It's like the blending mode of how it blends the mask. And uh, basically, voila, and output, I, I leave the default option to new layers. Click OK. So what's amazing in the Photoshop version is you have now a group called Sky Replacement Group. And before and after. And you can see here, this is a sky brightness so before, after, sky temperature before, after. So you can even double click and change your mind. You're like if you want, oh, I want to add more yellow in the sky, you can do that, uh, which I'm not going to do. So Command Z to undo. And, uh, you know, same thing with sky. So that's pretty cool because the fact of having layers makes it like completely non destructive. I can make the brightness of sky a bit different. I love that. You don't have that in Luminar. So now let's look up closely. I'm going to go 100%. And look at the sky, see how the mask is done. Ooh, the mask is not exactly perfect. You can see there's a little bit of a halo there. Okay, and uh, so you can go here in the sky mask, you know, hold on the option key, and you can see there's something going on there. So what you can do sometimes is you can take a brush. There's different ways of doing that, of correcting the, hold on the option key again to go back to the normal. And you can take a brush or sometimes let's try something simple. You can press command L on your keyboard and that's going to bring the levels and you can move uh, to the left or to the right sometime. And you can just change the mask. So to the left, uh, let's see if it helps. Yeah, it does help a little bit. Okay. So we have a little, uh, little issue here. One way of correcting that, uh, that I like to do is use the um, dodge tool sometimes. And you go, you click on the mask 
and you dodge, uh, you see, it's going to make the mask a bit uh, whiter there. Dodge makes things brighter and I can blend it a, a little more. It's just a little trick. So now I'm kind of happy. Uh, maybe I, I dodged a little too much so I can command Z undo this. But there's a bit of a fringe there, but honestly, it's pretty good. The sky replacement is pretty good. Now let's do the same thing in Luminar. So I'll go back to Lightroom, take this guy, and I'm going to go to Luminar 4. I'm using the latest update of Luminar 4 right now. And Luminar is a great option if you don't want to, you know, have to pay the subscription to Adobe. It does a lot of things that Photoshop uh, does, including sky replacement. So same thing here. I'm going to use my own sky because I want this to match. So I'm going to go here, second tool, sky replacement, sky selection. I'm going to go to load custom skies. Okay, so and then I'm going to use the same sky here, uh, which I believe is this one. So that's the result. Now let's look at the mask. You, so you zoom in at 100% to see how the mask did. And um, it's actually pretty cool. There's a bit of a halo there, but it's reversed. I find it of the, yeah, I find it a little more realistical. And so what you can do, you can go to advanced setting and close gap and sort of mess around with that and see if it improves the mask. No, you have to be very gentle and close. Yeah, close, nah. You can double click to go back to the default or you can go to sky local. Sometimes that helps. Uh, Sometimes that helps. Yeah, it's still a bit of a fringe, but the fringe is brighter. I, I find it a little more realistic. Um, let's see sky global, how it is. We get more for fringe. And here we still get a fringe. So when you're not sure, you just double click to put it back to how it was. And um, let's see here, close gap, maybe just a little bit. You just have to be very gentle now. Let's go like nine. Wow, double click, 10 is a default. Let's go 11. Now I'm gonna leave it at the default and it's actually has a bit of a fringe. Both of them are not perfect. Although what I do love with um, the sky replacement, and I'll show you my technique at the end, uh, works every time. You don't have this issue because I'm not using uh, masking. What this is using is intelligence artificial to change to do like a masking. I have a technique that doesn't involve masking at the end. You got to check it out. It's amazing. Anyway, so um, same thing. I can you know I can make the sky a bit warmer, which I did. I can make the sky a bit brighter, which I kind of did. And but I can also relight the scene. I like that. relight the scene is going to make this part match more the sky. So let's go a little strong. I like that. So that's the final result into Luminar just right off the bat. And that's in Photoshop. I didn't do the same colors in the sky, but um, yeah, pretty cool. All right. And look at the tree. Let's look at the tree here. So 100% on the tree here. Uh, on the tree, it's pretty good. Let's look here at 100% on the tree here. I find it's even better because you can see the warmth inside. Like I find Luminar is a little bit better on this one. Uh, I mean, honestly, I like both and I, I probably will use both. But um, yeah, so let's try it on an, another photo. Let's try on the next photo, which is a sunset. So this one is tricky because it, it's got that going on. So I'm going to right click, edit, Photoshop 2021. It's already retouched in Lightroom. I just wish I had more details in the sky. So on this one, same thing, I'm going to go to edit sky replacement and which one did i use i use one of my skies so again you can find my skies you can purchase them down below you get to get even get some for free on this one i think i went for like a crazy something like this i think sky let's see here yes i went for this guy okay now we have a bit of an issue here i can see it doesn't blend very well what can we do not much. We cannot do very much on, at this point. So I'm going to click off OK. You can go on the sky here and maybe use the um, let's let's look at the, at the mass. See what's the issue. Yeah, I think the issue is that we should. Um, yeah, we should dodge this a little more. So same thing. I'm going to go here. Use the dodge tool. Make sure it's let's let's go on highlights. So the dodge tool is going to take the highlights, which is whatever is bright and it's going to make it brighter. So if we're on the mask, it might help. Yeah, that's a little too much. So I think what you can do is you can hold on the option key and what it does, it uses the burn tool. So yeah, that's a little strong. So I'm going to go back 
and I'm gonna dodge again and I'm gonna burn again burn is the reverse burn is gonna and you just play with this tool that's kind of the best I can get let's see what luminar comes up with it's not bad it but it looks kind of weird there she okay let's let's go back to the dodge and see if we can do better um, let's see if we can do better uh, I'm gonna go back and put some more strands yeah I think that actually looks better to do this way and then just one click here yeah that's the best I can do that's the best I can do so now let's go to luminar so back to Lightroom we launch this this time in luminar okay and we're gonna use the same sky so one of my skies so go to creative uh, sky replacement sky selection load sky so here is uh, yeah same sky I put in the same sky and right off the bat it's not so bad it's not so bad let's zoom in here uh, let's see if we can do better advanced settings let's play around with close gap see uh actually like more to be yeah it's not bad it's not bad at all so this is luminar the toughest part look at this photo how sharp it is and this is photoshop photoshop luminar photoshop luminar i think on this one luminar wins to be honest and on this one i'm going to relight also the scene here uh, so it matches better but I really like uh, what Luminar is doing okay one more I like this photo but you know the sky was boring I was actually taking a photo of this castle and this girl came in it was the perfect foreground element so I'm gonna right click let's go to Photoshop sky replacement click on the sky and on this one I'm gonna use this sky which is one of mine which I've already I showed you I just clicked on plus and imported it uh, right off the bat it's pretty cool except I want to flip it because I think it's yeah the direction of the light it was like yeah the Sun was sitting there so it would match better and on this one I think uh, Photoshop did a great job but let's zoom in hundred percent and see here uh, it's actually did a great job here okay cool same one into luminar so same thing I'm gonna go here sky replacement I'm gonna go take one of my sky here is the same sky perfect I'm gonna flip it so to flip it you have to go to advanced settings and flip sky so same option and uh, let's see let's zoom in here at a hundred percent and uh, hmm I think Luminar did a, a less good job right off the bat of Photoshop Photoshop blended all the way so you have something called horizon position let's see if we lower that uh, what's happening no you see the mask stops here so uh, okay let's see close gap yeah close gap might be the solution ah it's having a hard time you see there's some an issue there okay and we have uh, a reason blending maybe we can play around with that the other way around and close gap Yeah, so on this one, oh, we just have, let's see if we can go all the way. Oh, close gap, okay, close gap and sky local did it. Let's see, so that's that's the hardest path, that's Luminar, and that's Photoshop. I think Photoshop did a slightly better job than Luminar, but, you know, overall pretty good. Overall pretty good. So that's kind of cool. Now, I'll show you something, and that's a big problem that Photoshop has. If you have a photo like this one, I'm going to right click, edit, Photoshop. You see the problem on a photo like this? If I go to edit, sky replacement, and I take this same sky, for example, uh, yeah, the same sky here, you don't get, uh, you know, you don't get that. I, I'm actually, on this one, I want to use another one. I want to use, uh, I think, um, Let's see here. I'm going to go to plus, take one of my skies. So on this one, I'm going to use this sky here. So click open and um, click OK. So I added, and the good thing in Photoshop is every time you add one of your sky, it stays there. So, OK, I kind of like that. But you see, you don't get the reflection. Even if I go here and I, and I color adjust the bottom, I don't get the reflection from this. And I don't like that. And I'll get the same issue in Luminar if I go to Luminar. Okay, I go here, sky replacement, I take one of, I take the same sky, boom, so that's the result of Luminar, 
And that's the result of Photoshop. It's, it's, it's good, but there's no reflection. And I'll show you a way that I find is much more powerful. So I'm gonna keep that, I'm gonna turn that off, and I'm gonna take the same sky here, drag and drop it from my library. And um, so when, if you get my full collection of sky, all you have to do is take it from your Window Explorer or your Finder and you drag and drop it into your library and you will have them forever. There's a full installation that comes with it with 13 different projects. that will show you how to use this. So I'm gonna position this where I want. And I'm gonna press, so it's step number one, you drag and drop your sky. Step number two, you duplicate it and you revert it using flip vertical. Okay, you hold on the shift key to really mirror it like that. Okay, press enter. You select both skies, right click and merge layer. Okay, now. I'm gonna press Command T and make sure it covers the entire scene. And this is the miracle. If you put this into multiply mode, now you don't have to do masking. The blending is perfect because it's just mixing the pixel, okay? There's just issues as you can see the texture on the photo there. First, I'm gonna position this like this. I like that this guy is like this. I can make, hold on the shift key, and make this a little lower, okay? So that's the first step is to basically put the sky in multiply. Step number two, is basically I'm gonna go here, back, I take this out, and I'm gonna take the quick select tool, hold on the shift key, select the sky, select the reflection, go to select and invert it. Now it's inverted, okay? So basically all I have selected is the mountains, not the white of the sky. I'm on the layer of the sky, it's very important, and I'm gonna to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, or Gaussian blur, or however you said like 129, check this out. Before, you can see like the clouds, the texture here, everything. After, nothing, okay? So Command D to undo the selection and look at this, it's already looking epic. But to make it more natural, you can lower the opacity of the overall sky, you can go here, create a mask, and that's step number three. Take a little brush, uh, B as a black as a foreground, 20%, and you can just mask out some of that sky in some of the places. But check this out. So that's my result with my three-step method. And that's Photoshop result. No, re no mirror. It doesn't really match the colors. Here it matches the colors. And, and you have a perfect mirroring of the sky here. So voila. So is Lumina a great option? It is a great option. Uh, you know, if you don't want to pay Photoshop. Photoshop is great. I think it has more features than Lumina. I think it's a little better. Uh, but I think... Th the way I do it in a three-step is even better because I like the results even better, to be honest. All right, guys, I hope you like this video. You can check out my full sky package. It's an amazing deal. The link is below the description. You have to click on more info. And also, I prepared a really cool playlist of some of my best free tutorials starting right now if you want to watch.